And what a great project. Yeah, How much really, have you enjoyed being really part of this? Fun. It's probably the most fun I've ever had at work. Yeah. And, what, and just that tiny little clip which I've seen gives you a fascinating insight into what life would be like in, in our country. Absolutely, yes. And this is also the end of the collection. We've already got 80-odd films online, and the 25 that we released today are the final grand moment in the collection. And what they do, as you say, they give that they attempt to give a kind of a snapshot of Britain at work, at play, at school, where we, you know, what we looked like, what kind of a personality the British people had at a very specific time, at a time when we were preparing for war or we were in the thick of war. An incredibly important moment for our country. And we've got um, another little clip which we want to show you now, taken from a film back in 1946 showing Scotland Yard officers investigating the case of some stolen tea. <laughs> a few brief particulars is all he wants. Then he dials 999 and gets through to Information Room, New Scotland Yard. That's very different, isn't it? Unlike today's kind of dramas with police. I mean, is that for real? Are they actors? What's going on there? They are actors. Um, the, the films are fantastic because they are documentaries, but they're kind of faux documentaries. They're, they're a mix between drama and documentary. You know, we really did train the Flying Squad. They really did make 999 calls to get back to the yard. Um, but those weren't the actual people doing it. They were all recreated. They, I think the British Council, when it was commissioning these films, actually had fun with them. They were allowed to work with a range of directors who kind of went on to be somebody. Um, and they had fun with them. They didn't just do straight documentaries. They're a very imaginative collection. And also very beautiful, because you, you, you've got an awful lot of film of a lovely country pub, very quintessentially British, isn't it? You try, I suppose that was the, the idea of this project, to sum up what was great about Britain, because it was propaganda at the end of the it day. It was complete it? propaganda, yeah, absolutely. I mean, they were designed to show a particular type of personality, a particular way of living. And it wasn't necessarily... I mean, some of it was true. We did train our coppers like that. But we also... We'd love to have a pint there. It's yeah. fantastic, isn't it? Not, not many women. I noticed. No, no, well, there are <laughs> in, in this film. There's some, there's some quite portly women who enjoyed a pint, <laughs> clearly. Um, but yeah, but there, there, there's a lot of tea. There's a lot of uh, pubs. Um, there's a lot of other things as well. We were obviously very proud of our national, the beginnings of our national health service, our education system. You know, all the things that we might debate now. Um, they, they're a wonderful collection. And also, time's gone by because it's a wonderful insight into the steel industry as well. Let's have a look at this. For close on two hundred years. British craftsmen have worked ceaselessly to build up the tradition which has made British steel the hallmark the world over. And incredible to see that in colour as well. How was that achieved? Yeah, well, the, the, a lot of the, the, the there are a number of colour films in the collection. They were all photographed, almost all photographed by Jack Cardiff, who's one of the Britain's sort of premier, eminent uh, cinematographers. And this was when he was making early experiments with Technicolor. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I agree with you. I think it's they're, they're kind of electrifying because they're sort of otherworldly, and yet they give this incredibly um, uh, accurate portrait of what you would have had there. Been massively popular. Just very briefly, how can we watch them? You can watch them all online if you simply Google British. Council and film, you'll find them very easily. Um, you know, as I say, there are, there, is, there are 100 and something on, online now. And the idea is we want people to play with them. They've got a Creative Commons license. It means you can download them. You can add your own Fantastic. soundtracks, muck about with them. We Bryony, hope people will. thank you very much. It was brilliant to look at all that thank with you. you. Thank Enjoy you very them. much for joining us.